Okay, in this video we're going to talk about Euler's method, which is a method of numerically approximating solutions to differential equations, um, or approximating values of a function, you might think of it that way. Um, so here's the general idea. So we have a curve, um, we know one point on the curve, and we want to know another point on the curve, or we want to approximate that point. And we also know the slope of the curve, so we know dy dx. So what we do um, in Calc AB or in Calc 1 typically is um, we just make a tangent line, and um, once we have the tangent line, we'll just substitute into the tangent line to get this point. Um, and so that's our tangent line approximation. And obviously, if you look at the picture, the tangent line approximation is wrong. Um, and we're wrong by about that much. And so what Euler's method says is instead of going all the way from the point we know to the point we want to know using kind of like one tangent line, we sort of cut it halfway. So let's see. So we have the same scenario. So instead of going all the way from the point I know to the point I want to know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the original tangent line, but only go halfway between the x coordinates. So I end up here. So this is my tangent, but I'm going halfway. What I'll do is I'll substitute into that halfway between. So I choose some delta x and I go that far. So I get this point. Now what I do is I go up to the curve. I figure out the slope at what would be that point if that point was on the curve. And I kind of pretend that it's on the curve and make a new tangent line. So that new tangent line will be parallel to the dotted line, um, but it's going to go through this point we just approximated. So we'll get this. So this is the point we get when we substitute into that. And this point right here is the Euler's method approximation. So you just keep using more and more tangent lines, but the deal is they're not really tangent. They're just um, parallel to the tangent line but we don't know the actual point on the curve to use. But you can see by looking at, uh, these are exactly the same picture, um, we are less wrong when we do this. And so ideally what we would do is maybe we would divide the, the distance between the x coordinate we know and the x coordinate we want, maybe divide that by a thousand and do this a thousand times. So we're getting really, really tiny tangent segments. Um, but in practice, we won't be able to do that. We'll do like one or two or maybe three steps. So the key ideas here on this slide are that we move delta x horizontally to get from the point we know to the point we want to know. And then we move delta x times the slope vertically to get from the, the y value we currently know to the next y value. So that's going to be our delta y. So let me draw another picture for that. So that's our key idea. So uh, we have delta x, which we're going to move horizontally. And then uh, to move up, that's going to be delta y. And delta y, um, kind of like from algebra 1, is going to be delta x times the slope. But the slope is dy dx. So we're going to use this idea to solve problems using Euler's method. The way we do it, though, instead of drawing all these pictures, is we actually make a table. So we're going to make this table. And actually, we're going to make this table every time we do an Euler's method problem. So it looks like this. You have a column for x. You have a column for y. And then you need a column for delta y. So delta y is kind of like the trickiest part to figure out. That's going to be the slope times delta x. I would say the mistake people make the majority of the time is they forget delta x. Um, so a bunch of columns. Let's just do a problem and see how this works. So our problem is going to be dy dx is 2x plus y. y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 0. So that's the point that we know, right? So we can. In uh, Calc 1, we would write the equation of the tangent line. We would go all the way from x equals 0 to x equals 1, because that's what we want to approximate the y value at. Um, but in this case, we're going to use two steps. So instead of going all the way from 0 to 1, first we're going to go um, halfway, and then we'll go the second half. So in this problem, the first thing I would do, and often it's just given to you, is I would calculate delta x. So delta x is where we end up minus where we start divided by the number of steps. So in this case, it's 1 half. That means that I can actually like fill in the whole x column because I'm just going to keep moving by delta x. So I go 0, then I go 1 half, then I go 1. So if delta x had ended up 1 third, I would have gone 0, 1 third, 2 thirds, 1. And I just have more steps in my table. Um, now I'm going to start filling in the y column. So I know when x is 0, y is equal to 2. To find delta y, it's really just a tangent line problem, right? So we know the ordered pair is 0, 2. We can calculate um, our, our delta y there, so or our dy. 
dy dx, I guess I should say. Um, so it's gonna be two times zero and then plus two. And then don't forget to multiply by delta x. So multiply by one half. And this, if we simplify it, gives us one. So now what I wanna do is I know my current y value is two and my change in y to get to the next y value is one. So I'm gonna end up at three. And that's actually a big deal. So to get a new y value, so y sub new, it's gonna be the old one and then just add delta y. So you end up adding the values in those last two columns to get the, the next value. Um, so then we just keep doing it as many times as we need to. So in this case, we need to do it really just one more time. So uh, again, we substitute into the derivative. So like this, we multiply by delta x, the most forgotten part. Uh, simplify this, gives me two. And then to get a new y value, I take the old y value plus delta y. So three plus two is five. So I'm basically done. But then if this is a free response question, you wanna be careful with how you write your answer. So what I'm gonna say is, um, when x is equal to one, y is approximately five. So approximately is a big deal because we didn't find the exact value. In fact, we kind of like know we're wrong because we're just using tangent lines over and over. Um, but we're less wrong than if we used one tangent line to go all the way across the distance. Um, so that's the whole idea. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.